While the FBI was all, never mind Apple, we cracked your phone, you may have missed Google's machine learning take on the claw game, the drone that's a bat, and DARPA's AAA space plan. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where amateur astronomers captured Jupiter getting hit by another asteroid or comet. The only unknown at this stage, how the planet's little green men are taking it. Jupiter's ass kicking aside, we have a real problem with all the dead satellite space junk cluttering things up. I'm sure you all saw gravity. Switzerland's EPFL space agency wants to capture space debris like a hungry, hungry orbital hippo, and NASA wants to send up something that could attach to dead satellites, giving another 10 or more years of juice. But now DARPA is all, nah, this is much better, with its plan to launch a robotic servicing vehicle, aka AAA for space. The idea is that the space bot would both inspect and maintain all the satellites in Earth's orbit and skip the whole dying thing in the first place. DARPA hopes to get up there within five years. A team of researchers from the University of Illinois developed an aerial drone that takes flight using wings instead of propellers. But it's not the bird, it's a bat drone. <laughs> The biomimetic drone is 3D printed with a silicone membrane stretching across its carbon fiber appendages. Side note, this would not even be the wackiest gadget in Batman's arsenal. No, that honor goes to the bat-themed shark repellent spray. Hand me down the shark repellent bat spray. Your next round of claw games might be a bit more productive thanks to research being performed by Google. The company is teaching robotic graspers better hand-eye coordination. Those are the kind commonly used on production lines. The study first observed the movements of 14 robots making more than 800,000 grasping attempts. Then researchers gave the robots brand new objects and had them continuously adjust grip based only on visual feedback. By combining both the collected data with that visual stuff, the robots were able to get anything into their bins, regardless of whether they'd been trained to pick it up specifically. Now we just need to train them to pluck toddlers from claw machines. They're the only ones who can fit. And finally, we have been into all the 3D printed prosthetics for kids, but this little girl named Jordan has one of the best. She designed a prosthesis that shoots glitter when the string is pulled. And the world is a happier place.